If this recipe is as good as it sounds, we are in for a treat. This is a lamb kebab with baba ganoush. Now, I don't want to state the obvious here, but lamb kebab needs lamb, but we're going to up the ante and make an incredible marinade to go with it. Good. And then the baba ganoush is basically roasted aubergine with tahini and herbs and a few other bits and pieces. I love the sound of this one. Baba ganoush. It's so cool. It's amazing. Right, it starts off, we'll come back to baba ganoush later on, but we do need to get the aubergine underway. Just place them onto a baking tray and place them straight into the oven whole, stabbed a few times so they don't explode, and they need to go into an oven at 220 degrees Celsius for 30 or 40 minutes, depending on the size of the aubergine. But while they're roasting, we can look at the marinade for the lamb. Okay. And now I think this lamb, anyway, we've got some nice neck fillet. It looks fillets. beautiful. It's going to be great. But this marinade is going to go on a good day or two ahead of needing it, so they can really impart flavour. So when are we eating this? We might have done some we made earlier, but I'm going to show you how I did it. What it is is these ingredients into a blender to make a paste. So we've got herb wise, oregano, some spice in the form of cumin and bay leaves. They're all going in, all dried, all into our spice grinder or a mini blender, or you can do it in a pestle and mortar. Tomato puree, if you just scoop out that, about two tablespoons, all the weights and measurements down below as ever. And then if you halve the lemon and squeeze in all of the juice, meanwhile, I'm gonna take two cloves of garlic and peel those. Garlic in, and we also need a generous pinch of salt and pepper and a glug of oil. Go for olive oil, and that'll be allowed. And do you know what, it's, it's the bay leaf. I wouldn't normally use bay leaves no. in a marinade, but five or six of them blitzed up like this, almost so it's a paste, and mixed in with the lamb is so good. So that goes on there. Turn it on. Beautiful, and it literally couldn't be simpler. Scoop that out of there into a bowl, and then we're going to add in the lamb. Now this is a uh, fillet of lamb, neck fillet. All I'm going to do is trim off any excess fat and cut it into bite-sized pieces, okay, so that we can skewer it later on. So you want some of that marbled fat through there because that's where all the flavour is. But any big chunks I'm taking off. I'm going to cut it all the way down the middle. And while I'm just chopping up this lamb, can you do a similar thing with peppers? So we've got a green pepper and a yellow pepper. And what we're going to do is start them off in a cast iron pan just to give them a bit of charring, but not necessarily put them all the way through. All of our chopped lamb goes into our marinade. Give it a good mix up. You want to make sure that everything's covered and mixed well. And you absolutely could move straight ahead and just skewer them and cook them off now. You'll get the flavour as a coating, but it won't really do what a marinade is. It takes a while for all those flavours to penetrate the meat. So, basically what we need to do is cover that in cling film, put it into the fridge for at least a day. This is some we did two days ago. Because of the lemon, which is mm -hmm. acid, and the tomato, basically it starts to break down the meat, and what you get is such a tender, tender piece of lamb. And then when you cook it, quickly, yep. as a skewer, it's really such a tender. So we'll char grill these and get some colour, and then we can start to skew them, alternating pepper and lamb all the way up, a couple of skewers, and top tip, use metal skewers, because then again, as you cook it, the metal gets hot and helps to keep the lamb from the inside, inside out. out, so the meat doesn't get out. Gotcha. gotcha. At this point, with the skewers, we're going to put them onto a grill tray. We've lined it with tin foil just to make life easy later on, but these are obviously brilliant on a barbecue as well. And there we go, that can go under the grill. Thank you. And while you're there, oh. grab some aubergine as well. And that'll be hot, but look at our aubergines now. This oh my goodness. is amazing. What's happened to them? Basically, what we want now is all the cooked stuff inside. So if you grab our food processor, mm -hmm. you'll see that is really mushy and amazing. So, if you crush a couple of cloves of garlic, yep. you just need the cloves. What I'm going to do is scoop all of the flesh out of our aubergine. It's not the skin we need, it's all the flesh. And then you can add into that all the other ingredients. So if you go in with tahini, cumin seeds, and our fresh herbs. I've heard of tahini, but I've never really seen it. Before. Often put into uh, hummus as well. Oh. So it's a sesame seed paste. A few cumin seeds, and then fresh herbs just last minute. Generous pinch of salt and pepper. Squeeze of lemon juice. And the lemon juice just helps to cut through it, but you can always add in more later on if you think it needs it. Lid. And because the aubergine is nice and hot, it will kind of begin to Cook warm the garlic. the garlic so you don't get that raw potency, but instead a nice flavour. And when you're 
you happy it's all roughly oh. chopped up and it doesn't need to be completely smooth it can be relatively coarse it's so simple we're going to go in with some fresh herbs mint mm -hmm. and some basil one more blend up lovely quick taste you're checking to make sure it's good it is definitely good it is good but you've got enough lemon juice and salt in there the raw garlic's quite potent but it's mellowed because of that hot aubergine and then serve it up just an optional extra a little bit of yogurt wiggled through and since we've got sesame seeds in the form of paste inside just a few oh. sprinkled over as well beautiful let's grab our kebabs that's the kind of charring you want and then all we're going to do is just transfer them and there we go with a wedge of lemon it's our lamb kebabs and baba ganoush sorted there's so much going on in that, but we didn't put that much in it. It's a smoky aubergine with a garlic mm. and herb. It's so good. And I think this is really good, just kind of as it is. Because of the aubergine, it becomes quite a, a body full side. But you could throw some pita breads at this as well, and it'd be so good. If you like the look of this, then do go make it. Or if you're having barbecue this summer, then cook something else, upload it to Sorted Food, and let us know about it. We want to see what you put on sticks.